Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Evie and I have another scrapbook mixed media layout for you. I am using the Click Kit, July's Click Kit for this layout. And I am starting off with this paper, this pattern paper, it's called Daydreamer by Chickadiddy. And I am using my, these, what are they called? Daler and Rowney Acrylic Artist Inks. And the two colors you see me use so far are fluorescent pink and turquoise and I am really trying to get um, paint splatter for my background I'm getting this whole like Pollock look going on and I do have a few of these acrylic inks um, all in a neon collection you saw them probably in my last haul and I have you're gonna see me also add like fluorescent orange and also um, I think the red as well, fluorescent red. So you're going to see me add a little bit more of that right now. Um, I'm leaving the branding strip on the bottom, but I did take off like a quarter inch on the top or however long it is um, because I think it was really cute, that pink with the hearts on it. So that's why I left it and that's why you still see it there. I like when the branding strips can be incorporated into the, into the layout like this. Now I have to tell you, these inks, you see me taking a little try at what I'm um, drying them down with my heat gun and then you see me here taking some of the paper towel to kind of absorb some of the dollops of ink but honestly folks it needed to dry overnight <laughs> there was no getting around it like some of the splatters were so thick and like the, the puddles and such and I wanted to leave that that I didn't want to dull it down so I honestly just let it dry overnight and this is me in essence working on it again in the morning um, you saw me attach a few branding strips from this is the the collection here from other papers that we are using um, and it's a product life card that did come in the kit and I am matting it on this very colorful paper that I thought went well with the colors I used in the paint splatter this one's called high spirit and again it's from the chickadiddy chickadiddy collection all part of the July click kit um, click kit kit this month it's always so hard to say I always feel like I'm repeating it but you are repeating it um, and the pictures of me and my fiance it's kind of like taken at sunset um, it's my I think my sister took the picture actually um, on the beach and it's just kind of fun to always see like our height difference because he's almost like six foot tall almost and then I'm like five foot tall so he's to bend down a lot to come and kiss me <laughs> And I am matting it a little bit further just to add some texture and layers to two pieces of tissue paper. And it picks up the colors really nicely from the paint splatter. But I wanted to add another like kind of element of black and white, which is why I grabbed this kind of houndstooth looking one as well to kind of mat and just add more pops of color. If you've seen my channel, you know that I'm not afraid of color and I try to incorporate as much as I can when I can. So here I am just, you know, fussing with it and getting the layers just right. And I am working that the background is completely dry right now, too. And the Project Life card did come in the set. And you can see all, like, the ephemera onto the left side. That is actually a cut-apart page from the collection that's called um, Cloud Nine. And I went ahead and cut it pretty much all up into the individual little ephemera pieces that it would be and I do add um, quite a few of them to this um, layout in a little cluster um, later on but the main focus was just honestly the the paint splatter which I love so that's the pop of color because everything is black and white and the color from the matted pattern paper as well so it's really fun in that um, regard and what else can I tell you so just getting it down properly, kind of have it on an angle, not as bad. Anyways, the doily, the black doily is um, completely just from my stash. I had it in, um, I think I also had them in craft, but I obviously keeping with the color combos here. Um, and like I said, here I am adding some of the cut apart page um, in a nice little cluster. And the colors are all picked up really well 
with this um, cut apart page so I didn't have to really do much they all just kind of went really well um, the wood veneer pieces are from my stash that I colored with the same ink from the splatters the fluorescent pink it's not as bright because the wood would have absorbed some of the colors because it's a very porous you know porous med medium to work with is that a medium porous just like surface to work with so the color is a little bit muted but you can still tell it's like bright pink which is fine with me and now I'm just adding um, these nice words that say, you know, smile and um, evidence of a great day. It's like three little hearts. And the one wood veneer says moments, and then the other one says love this. I do add the flare. The flare buttons came in the kit. They are the Click Kits exclusive flare buttons for this layout. And I do add the Chickadiddy mini brads in a yellow one on the opposite side just to pull and coordinate some of that yellow um, to the other side of the page as well and I do add some journaling on that card that's to the top you'll see, you won't see me do the writing but that's where I do 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 the journaling these puffy stickers are also from the Chickadiddy collection from Click Kit and I use the yellow one Again, a color that I didn't use in the background, but I'm trying to tie in throughout the layout. So I add the key and I add the triangle pieces as well for little pops of yellow on the layout. And it's coming together quite nicely. So the pinks, the pink splatter, the yellow, and then everything black and white um, is the layout. So it's kind of really fun like that. So, and I do the journal, like I said, but I won't bore you with my writing, and then you'll see the close-ups. And there we are. I want to thank everyone for watching my video and stopping by. Please subscribe if you haven't already done so. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Did I already say that? I probably said that twice. Um, and if you do like the click kit, I leave a link in the description box below so that you can check them out. They are super fun, and they have all you need to create great layouts like this. Until next time, thank you and have a good evening. Bye!